So from an open source bootcamp event, what you typically expect is a series of short talks. And short, by short talks, I mean less than an hour, typically half an hour to 45 minutes, covering just the bare essence of, of a topic. Minutes just to review what Talent First is about, um, and then take a couple of minutes to uh, do some blatant recruiting for a Carlton uh, master's program. Today, I'm going to talk uh, about the Eclipse community itself. Not so much about any particular technology, but just more how do we get involved with Eclipse? How do we get help doing things with Eclipse? How do we actually become part of this community? What Eclipse looks like when you first fire it up, um, and how that relates to what has been done within the Eclipse DTP project. So it allows you to you know, completely manage Eclipse. And this is actually an important uh, departure from what we ha where we were before. And I'll probably get back on that later. So in that sense, we can actually you know, deal with Eclipse EXE, INIs, and all these other peripheral things. Um, in the future, we'd like to provide uh, tighter desktop integration. Um, the next thing I'll do is, I, as I always do, I talk about the next event. <clears throat> so we have um, Open Source Bootcamp 8 is on August 28th, if my memory still serves me. Yeah, August 28th, 5 to 8 p.m. We haven't set the room yet, but it'll either be on Carlton's campus or possibly Algonquin or Ottawa University. We'll see you know, who, who wants to host it. Um, we'll be talking about Perl, Python, um, Bash, or possibly Ruby. It just depends. We're talking to both uh, uh, active communities of programmers here in town. Thank you.